So you've always thought you were born with flat feet. Maybe you've been told it's just your genetics, that arch supports are your only hope, that you have to live with a collapsed arch forever and keep buying orthotics and insoles over and over again. Well, think again. Now there is a chance that some so-called flat feet aren't genetic at all. They could be functional. In other words, your feet have adapted to a modern lifestyle that doesn't challenge them. Years of walking on flat, cushioned shoes, never using your toes, relying on support instead of strength, all of that has led to underdeveloped foot muscles. And just like any other muscle group in the body, if you don't use it, you lose it. Your foot's arch isn't just a passive bone structure, it is a dynamic muscular spring system. And when the muscles that support your arch go weak or dormant, the arch collapses under load. But here's the good news, you can always train your arch back. This video is going to break down exactly how this works anatomically, neurologically and biomechanically and what you can do to reverse flat feet for good. Let's talk about what's really holding your arch up. Most people think the arch is just a shape created by bones like the navicular, talus and calcaneus. These bones are not really what makes the arch functionally strong. The real support comes from a network of intrinsic foot muscles, small deep muscles within the foot that act like the core of your lower limb. The most important one of these is the abductor hallucis, which runs along the inside of your foot, originating from the medial process of the calcaneal tuberosity and inserting into the base of the proximal phalanx. This muscle helps support the medial longitudinal arch and contributes to toe control during stance and push-offs. Let's not forget about other intrinsic muscles such as the flexor digitorium brevis, the quadratus plantae, the lumbricos, the interosse, and the flexor hallucis brevis. These muscles are innervated primarily by the medial and lateral plantar nerves, which are branches of the tibial nerve, itself a division of the sciatic nerve originating all the way up from the spinal nerve roots L4 to S3. But why am I telling you all of this? Because when these nerves aren't stimulated due to inactivity, improper footwear or loss of sensory input, the corresponding muscles start to get lazy. And that collapse doesn't just affect the foot, it sends a shockwave of compensation up the kinetic chain, knees rotate inwards hips lose stability and the lumbar spine starts to bear the brunt of poor alignment. In short, weak feet equal weak foundations. Let's dive into what the science says. A study published in the Journal of Foot and Ankle Research from 2015 showed that individuals with flat feet had significantly reduced cross-sectional area and activation of intrinsic foot muscles compared to those with normal arches. Another landmark study by Mulligan and colleagues from 2009 found that short foot exercises, simple activations of the intrinsic muscles led to improved arch height and better balance over a four-week period. EMG studies confirmed increased activation of the abductor hallucis and flexor digitorium brevis. Also, research from the British Journal of Sports Medicine showed that athletes who trained barefoot on various surfaces had significantly stronger foot musculature and reduced injury rates compared to those always training in shoes. So we're not just talking theory here. Training your feet actually works. I'm going to show you five exercises that help reduce foot pain, increase muscle activation in the arch and optimize the entire foot, knee, hip system. Because let's be honest, your foot isn't living in isolation, it's the base of your kinetic chain. This exercise is called the Michael Jackson, inspired by the legendary lean he used to do on stage, showing off insane ankle mobility. But we're going to keep it rehab friendly. <laughs> So unless you've got superpowers like MJ, grab a resistance band, loop it over your shoulders and anchor it in front of you. The band keeps you from face planting while you lean forward through your ankles. And what's happening here, you're training dorsiflexion, sure, but more importantly, your toes and plantar fascia have to fire up like crazy to stop you from collapsing forward. This is ankle mobility and foot strength rolled into one deceptively simple move. You'll feel it burn in a good way. Now we're gonna take the same idea and turn it vertical. This is the ankle angled calf raise. Set your feet on an incline, wedges, slant boards, or even a ramped plate. From here, rise up on your toes slowly and with control. Why angled? Because it puts the ankle and toes in a lengthened, stretched position. It forces your foot to work through full range, unlocking ankle flexibility while building that deep toe and arch strength. Alright, time to single out the MVP of foot control, the big toe. 
Place the ball of your foot on a weight plate and press only through the big toe as you raise into a calf raise. This isolates the flexor hallucis and medial arch, which are hugely important for balance, push-off strength and reducing strain further up the chain. Most people don't realize your toes are not a fused unit. They move individually as well and they should be trained individually. And now we're going to level up foot control in a dynamic environment, bow to bow, foam pad, sand, and even just barefoot on uneven ground. The goal here is to let your foot adapt and respond to instability. This isn't just balance training, this is neuromuscular input. Your foot is packed with sensory receptors and sending feedback to the brain. When you challenge those receptors, you boost proprioception, stability and reflexive strength across the entire chain from the ground up. Finally, let's bring the whole system together, use something like a soft pad or a bow to bow and perform step downs or side steps and lateral lunges. This trains how your foot, knee and hip coordinate during movements. It builds dynamic control, teaches your brain how to react and adapt and strengthens the body in a functional integrated way. See, maybe you weren't born with flat feet. Maybe you developed them, who knows? And that's the good news because what was lost could be reversed. Start treating your feet like any other muscle group. Build strength, restore function and reclaim that dynamic spring under your arch. Your knees, hips and back will thank you. If this video helped you, rethink your foundation, give it a thumbs up, drop a comment with your experience and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the body's hidden systems. Train smarter, move better, stay strong and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more exercises and anatomy content. If there is anything specific that you would like me to cover on this channel, please let me know in the comments below this video. See you in the next one.